Hello, so in this video, let's put dimensions in wall column plan views. So let's start from dimensioning uh, architecture plans. So let's first uh, put dimensions to outside external walls and later let's go to in internal part of our building. So for putting dimensions, I will use align dimension tool. Uh, for this task, let's use uh, vault center line, and I want to uh, dimension entire wall. And in this case, I want to uh, measure openings, intersecting walls, no, intersecting grids at this moment, no. And let's measure, let's say, this wall. And from here, you can see it's automatically measuring all the uh, wall, the, all the openings. Uh, but in this case, uh, it connects a dimension line to the center of uh, my wall, so I can fix this part and the last dimension lines I will move to the end of my walls. Next, let's select other walls, entire wall, and let's uh, measure OK and to wall faces, okay, and let's select this wall, okay, and in this case I don't want openings and I just want all the wall. And additional dimensions I should uh, connect my wall and my grid lines. Okay, let's do the same here. Grid lines and my walls. The distance between dimensions is inserted automatically. It depends from the settings of my dimension style. In this case, it is using 10 millimeters distance from dimension lines. And let's make a copy of this dimension and let's put it here. Uh, it depends. So sometimes copying is working, sometimes it's not. So let's just do it by hand. It's important to connect walls to grid lines and to show all the length and all the geometry. So you can calculate materials, so you can calculate all, all other parts of the walls. And it's important, so no objects uh, cross each other or hides some information. And I put dimensions and other objects if you put dimension, it should have background. If it doesn't have background, so just move it to the side and let's say in this case, these dimensions go each on other. So I can move this one a little bit upper and I can lift this dimension up. So I created outside dimensions. Let's put some dimensions inside. So in this case, I will try to put entire wall and let's put uh, openings and intersecting walls. So let's try put dimension in here. Okay. And for intersecting walls, I select tab and if I see some dimensions is not fitting, so I can just lift them up. 
I'll move to the side. And internal dimensions, you should show uh, openings in internal walls and you should also show the thickness of your walls and the length and the width of your rooms so you can calculate uh, the area of rooms. Okay, and let's put here. If internal dimensions uh, gives you uh, results and you cannot uh, put all the dimensions outside or inside, so in this case you should change the scale and or you need to divide the plan view to several plan views to represent all the dimensions should be readable, all information should be visible and no dimension should cover each other. The most important thing is everything should be clear. And remember uh, with dimensions you also should put some taggings so they also take some space so you should leave some space for tanking and other parts so for columns i also should connect them to the grid lines to one side to another side Dimension lines should also extend to the object. They cannot just hang here. And for walls, you should connect and show the wall what are the distance from the grid line to wall sides. The same goes here. So additional dimension should be inserted for this uh, room to calculate all the length, but from here I see it gets me a lot of locations which can, which can give me some additional problems. Other stuff which I need to, to tag is doors and, and, and so on. So let's see, just basic dimensions is inserted and basic information I have from here. And I cal can calculate the area. I can calculate uh, and see the location of openings. And I will just select and I will filter all the objects and I will select only dimensions and let's try to copy and paste uh, align to uh, other views, align to selected views and from here I will try to align these dimensions to other views and I press OK and it should automatically put all the dimensions to other views automatically so from here you can see i save a lot of time putting dimensions in our architecture view i have all the dimensions in this view i can put some additional dimensions but it's not recommended in big scales so you should create detail of the wall and show all the layers uh, of the wall with 
smaller dimensions. In the plan of use, just show basic thickness and connection to the rigid lines. And in structure walls, in here, I don't have any dimensions. And in this, I have some dimensions, but they give me some errors. So I will just delete internal dimensions and I need to redo them from scratch. Column dimensions is OK. Outer dimensions is practically also OK. So let's remap dimensions for inside walls and outside walls. And from here, If I am not sure if I connect to correct lines, so I just can turn on a thin line view and I should fix these parts. For the builders, uh, sometimes it uh, will get confused if you measure all the plaster layers and other stuff. Uh, for them, its uh, most important parts is bearing part and, and insulation part and maybe some finish, outside finish, if it has uh, any different thicknesses. And all the uh, plaster parts is just finish layer and it's not important in the beginning of the construction. But in this program, if you show the wall in, and thicknesses in this view, and you want to represent them correctly, with no mistakes in other views, so you should show all the dimensions correctly. Let's say the wall thickness is 407, and I go to architecture plan first, another version. For seven, so this number should be the same in all views. And if you want to understand what kind of layers is in the wall, so you should open the detail of level of wall and and check all this information. And in structure view, it's important to tag maybe not all columns, but if the columns are the same, you can just tag one one, one column, and let's say other columns will be the same information, but sometimes it's better to show all the dimensions for all the columns so you don't make interpretation or, or make decision if you don't know some dimensions. So this is the all layers, and in this case, I will copy only these dimensions, maybe outer dimensions, and let's check. Maybe it will catch align to, to current view. OK, so some dimensions it catches. OK, so we can fix. Uh, if you copy dimensions from other views, it can leave zeros and it's hard to find the lines which these zeros are connected. So it's easier just to delete this and just to put dimensions like that. And this part is the most important part for builders who is building the main walls, the bearing walls, and they just know the main geometry and other layers which will be created in later stages of a project is not uh, giving confusion for the builder.
and he can check if he is doing the right job. Okay, this one is not working with parts, so I will just use this one and just do it step by step. So to put dimensions correctly, it can take a lot of time, and if you have a lot of drawings, it can be a time-consuming stuff. Uh, there are some additional tools like uh, Dynamo who can automatically put uh, dimensions by script which you create or you can use uh, special apps which is in some cases not free and they can give you dimensions automatically but all automatic tools make sometimes mistakes and you need to recheck each time if your results is correct. Okay, let's measure internal part. Now it looks practically done. 